It seems there is more trouble for Adam Shomole as um, some other group has called the EFCC to probe him concerning the hospital project. And uh, we somehow, uh, sometime before the election, he was uh, able to, you know, settle some of these issues. But now that he has been called again by another group and asking EFCC to probe him further, I wonder what is really going on here. But anyway, guys, there's more details coming for you about this. But please, if you have not subscribed, please ensure that you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the only way you get notified anytime we drop a new video. Okay, guys, without further ado, don't forget this is Saffron Media where we give you trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings. So if you want the best and most authentic happenings in Nigeria, this is the best place to be. All right, my people, let us see who the groups are and why they have to, you know, keep pushing EFCC to probe the former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, that is Adams Oshemole. A group concerned Edo citizens has called on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to investigate alleged corruption perpetra perpetrated by the administration of a former state governor and ex-national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adam Soshamole, in the construction and procurement of equipment for the Edo Specialist Hospital. Armed with placards bearing inscriptions like End Corruption Now and End Impunity Now, the group in peaceful protest marched to the Benin Zonal Office of the EFCC on Friday and said they decided to remind the anti graft agency to probe the circumstances that led to the alleged misappropriation of funds running into billions of naira in constructing the hospital. Teddy Oshaguyewa, who spoke on behalf of the group, said the protest was in line with the recent calls to end police brutality corruption amongst others we were there three months ago and we are here again in form of a protest to ask the efcc to investigate the circumstances that led to the loss of billions of naira in the hospital project they were unable to equip the hospital and through the process we have lost several persons in edo state before now we were asked to submit a petition and we did so through our lawyer, but over three months now, we have not been informed about the petition. That is why we decided to come here to remind them to probe Shomole so that he can tell us how he spent the money on the project, he said. The state head of public affairs of EFCC, Williams Osegali, who received the protesters, assured them that the commission would look into the petition. The state governor, Godwin Obaseki, had inaugurated a commission of inquiry led by Justice James Oyomiri to look into the construction of Edo Specialist Hospital and supply of equipment. Following the commission findings, they indicted the governor's predecessor, Oshomole, for the breach of the state's procurement laws in the award of 75% of the contract sum upfront for the project instead of 25% upfront payment upon contract award for the construction of the hospital. And of course, uh, you know, that has been the uh, problem that a lot of them has because they said it's not even supposed to give any contractor up to 75% of the sum up front but that was what he did and that was the mistake he made concerning that contract and of you know that the constructor the construction company did not even bother to bring the equipment the hospital equipment and they left the work undone and was not able to finish up what they were supposed to do and they left it just like that and that is the problem adam sashamale is facing at the moment so definitely this is a call to every um, uh, office holder or anyone that's, that has held offices in any of the states in Nigeria because of course uh, the way things are going now it seems that there will be more protests and uh, you know the youths are also ready to ensure that those that need justice get justice just like uh, it is happening right here in Edo State because right here from what I read to you is that uh, you know some of the uh, things that happen is that the protesters 
went to ask the EFCC to investigate the circumstances that led to the loss of billions of naira regarding the hospital project. And of course, they said that uh, Oshomole was in charge at that particular point in time that he should be able to uh, give uh, enough reasons why that project was not completed. And definitely it's going to affect all other office holders that were present at that time in that government and if they are not uh, uh, responsible enough to give reasons why i'm very sure that they will also face the wrath of the law because it was this happened through a protest and you know since it has been going on in nigeria with the entire protest with a lot of youths involved in it they've been asking a lot of questions and remember that they said they need accountability and that is exactly what they are requesting whether you're a past governor or you're a past uh, secretary whatever you are you should be ready to give answers to these young men and women because they want accountability and they are ready to get it whichever way so definitely any of those office holders that know that they are owing these youths anything they should better go and correct it or anyone that has a court case it is better that they quickly uh, go and settle it because definitely these guys are ready and are coming for them. So with this uh, Oshomoles case, I don't know how far this is going to go, but like the state head of public affairs of EFCC, William said, who received the protesters, he also assured them that a commission would look into that petition that they have written because they said about three months ago before that uh, election was uh, done in a state that they also wrote a petition to EFCC and they have not seen anything. So this time around, it is accountability. So definitely EFCC also should be ready because they will account for a lot of things if they know anyone has is supposed to be probed and is still left behind. I'm very sure these guys will remind them of what to do. So like uh, Osagali said that he would ensure that the commission look into that petition. And also he said the state governor, that is Gordon Obaseki, had also inaugurated a commission of inquiry led by uh, Justice Oyomire to look into the construction of that Edo Specialist uh, Hospital and Supply of Equipment Project. So definitely there's work ongoing regarding this uh, very report on what is going to happen next, whether to Shemole or to the contractors that were truly involved with that um, hospital uh, uh, issue. So guys, from here, I really want to say thank you for all that you do. If you have any reservations, you have comments, please endeavor and ensure you drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate you. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.